My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and this is Everyday Office. Today's video is about how to create and then use custom tags in Microsoft OneNote. So Microsoft OneNote allows us to create pages of content where we might have graphics, uh, like screenshots, like pictures that we took. Uh, we might have audio or video files. We might have embedded spreadsheets. And we basically just compile all of this together to allow ourselves to manage the work that we have to do, to be able to look up information afterwards, things like that. It's a great note-taking tool. Now, let's say that we had a new project. So we decided to create a notebook in OneNote where we were documenting information, maybe working out some things in meetings, things like that. And we were talking about the production part of this new project that we had. So maybe in our production schedule, we do something like um, create the uh, templates and then I'll add a new page. And that page will do something like, um, let's see, this will be something like uh, quality control on templates. Add a new page. First run. Add a new page. Quality control on first run. And that'll be the segments that we talk about right now. Now, on the page about creating templates, maybe we say that we have a meeting where we say that um, Harold is handling the editing process. Susie is handling creative. On quality control for the templates, we'll do something like uh, Robert is testing the limits of the templates. Rebecca is testing for consistency. And on the first run, we'll say Harold builds out the infrastructure and Rebecca handles throughput. Now, obviously, all this is just nonsense that I'm making up. But what I'm going to do at this point is assume that there are things I need to be able to go back and retrieve throughout this. Now, let's say Harold... Rebecca and Susie all work for the same department and that Robert works for another department. So I'll go in here and this line for Harold is handling the editing process. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tags drop down menu and in here you'll see that there are a lot of tags that Microsoft gives you by default like project A, project B, password, things like that. And there are others that you might have built for yourself. So what I'll do here is go down to customize tags and I'll make up a tag for the department that I have in mind. So I click on new tag and let's say that the department we're talking about here is uh, department A and anything that's department A will have a little blue star on it and click OK. And then I'll go to new tag and I'll make a department B tag and that will put a little yellow star on things. So I'll hit OK and hit OK. And at this point I've got custom tags. So I just go in here to Herald and I say, well, Herald is with department A. And I click on it. It puts a little blue star here next to Herald. Susie is also with department A. So I click on the blue star. Quality control. Robert is with department B, Rebecca. I'm just clicking on each of these entries and choosing what department these people are responsible for. 
Now at this point, you could just scan your notes and look for the blue stars or whatever other customizations you had in mind. But more effective than that is to use the button at the top of the screen called Find Tags. When I click on Find Tags, it actually gives me a listing of tags that have been created. And you can see here that there are a few tags listed under Department A and then one tag listed under Department B. And I can scroll through these, find the different items that are relevant to me, and click on them in order to go through and find that particular element. It actually takes me to that element and highlights it for me. Another way to work with this, though, is actually to click on the button here at the bottom for Create a Summary Page, which allows me to have basically like a table of contents that shows me everything that's happening in, in Department A, everything that's ha happening in Department B, etc. So by taking the time to create your own custom tags, you create a navigational system that will work very nicely across a notebook.